Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Another free macro from our friend Eskimo. I've seen this one before. It's called Mover. And I thought, big deal. But I was watching his video today, and it does something you really can't do in Corel in a way. Now, I've got my nudge factor set on a half inch. I could move it to the left or to the right and then move it down with two arrow keys. And it is a half inch off that where that was. But with Eskimos, you can move it to the right, you can move it to the left, you can move it to the upper, you can move it to the down right. So if you set your vertical in horizontal on a half inch, I'm gonna move that with one keystroke and it moved it a half inch off from the other one. You know, you could do both of them at once. Of course, you wouldn't want to really do that unless you're going to move them down. And see, that's a, the circle's exactly a half inch, so it's moving it like that. Uh, you could, I'm making a duplicate now. You could have these unduplicated. And then when you move it down, there's nothing there. But this would be very helpful if you wanted to make duplicates and go like this and just keep putting uh, circles uh, at an angle with the same thing. But it's it's pretty cool, and we'll just prove that it's working. We'll bring in indexing lines, and with my nudge factor set at a half inch, I'm gonna move that one in and this one down, and then when I take my circle, I'm gonna take away the duplicate, and I'm just gonna move it down right and it put it right in the middle exactly where it should be. Now, you can do that in Corel, but if you wanted to do, you know, it, it's, it's, it's still not that big a deal. It is, I don't know how people like Eskimo write these. Um, it's kind of like uh, the duplicate key, but it, it's gonna save you a lot of time. I mean, if you wanted to take that and control D, and then move it down and then you control D, it will do it like that. But there's probably a lot of other, and I need to really, I should have watched more of the video. Um, you know, you can do um, probably a lot more with it and it's free and it's easily downloaded. And, you know, if you wanted to, you know, and, and you could change this real quick. And so here's something you can't do in Krill. Let's go horizontal one inch in the only vertical half inch and put it to the right. So it's moved it over one inch. So you you could do that in Corel, but you'd have to do three keystrokes. So you'd have to go, let me get that in the center. You'd have to go one, two, one up to do that. Where if you go here and just upper left, you've done the same thing. I think it would be very helpful if you were doing a lot of things like that and or uh you know i make a lot of uh, uh plates that i have to drill holes in metal plates for flashing to put two things together and if my if my metal piece is this 12 by i'm having trouble getting that one in the center um if i had to you know make it exactly off you know let's make it a one inch by one inch and then when I move that one up, it's gonna be one inch by one inch off. I can grab this and just go here and grab this one and go here and grab this one and go here and I'm done. Anyway, give it a shot. And thank you, Mr. Eskimo.